A spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets can be used to paste parameters into a configuration table. This workbench is available in any width from 30 through 72 inches and any depth from 24 through 36 inches, both in 1 inch increments. Entering values into a configuration table could be time consuming and lead to typos. Taking advantage of a spreadsheet and formulas hastens the process. List inputs are used to configure the workbench width and depth. Two lists are created and named width and depth. Select a core and work surface. Right click and select change configuration. Right click on width and select configure width width. Right click on depth and select configure width depth. In a spreadsheet program, enter the initial values for each table. Copy the formula into each subsequent cell up to the max value. In a matter of seconds, multiple entries are created for the width configuration. Repeat the same steps for the depth. Copy and paste the width data into the width configuration table. The width table is instantly updated with 42 available widths. Repeat the previous steps for the depth. A few notes about copy and paste. Data is automatically replaced in rows and columns of the table with the data that was copied. For configurations, if there are more rows copied than in the input table, those rows are created. If there are more columns copied than in the input table, those columns are not created. For configuring assembly properties, rows must be created prior to pasting parameters. Data is automatically replaced in rows and columns of the table with the data that was copied. Configuring assembly properties is covered in the video, Configuring Assembly Properties. With the configuration data pasted, change parameters in the configuration selector. The assembly updates automatically, always showing the latest configuration.